Without further ado, once again, my name is Jonathan Garvin. I'm here with VoIP Supply. We also have Tim Sheehan uh, from Poly. Uh, we'll run through some quick slides showing off VoIP Supply's capability, and then I'll hand it over to Tim, and he'll kind of explain some uh, exciting things that are happening happening over at the uh, Poly Institution. So uh, VoIP Supply, <clears throat> obviously being a partner with a uh, with VoIP Supply and being a reseller with us has a lot of benefits. Um, we have our own VoIP uh, rental program, uh, in addition to Polly's uh, rental program, uh, we do hardware uh, and provisioning. So if you ever needed um, to purchase a PBX and didn't really have the time or the bandwidth to provision that yourself, we can do that um, within our warehouse um, and then ship it to you or your customer plug and play, or we can ship it to your customer and then um, remotely provision it while it's at uh, their side. Um, we have a CloudSpan marketplace where you can partner with a variety of different VoIP service providers that we work with, um, and then we would pay you commissions off of that. So that's a really uh, cool feature that many of our resellers have taken advantage of. Uh, of. Um, fulfillment, uh, we can, similar to provisioning, if you are um, running more of like a, a service provider sort of a business, we can handle all the provisioning um, and, and shipping along with any like brochures and materials that you would put um, within the boxes when you ship them off to your customers. And then of course, Refresh and Reclaim. Refresh is our own self-branded uh, refurbishing process. It goes through a 10-step uh, refurb uh, cycle, which um, is a much higher standard than many of the other refurb um, options that you'll find you know, anywhere on, on the internet. And then Reclaim is a system where we will purchase back uh, your old or your customer's old phone equipment and we'll either pay you for it um, or we'll you know just uh, um, you can ship it to us and we'll at least recycle it for you so a lot of awesome benefits uh, when you partner as a reseller with VoIP supply um, so just to touch again on fulfillment um, and provisioning um, you get a custom portal and API uh, when you work with uh, fulfillment um, you'd be working with uh, my colleague Don um, he's uh, really brought the program from the ground up, and uh, we've now got some really top-tier providers that we work with that uh, are really happy with what we're doing. Um, and then provisioning is done through our tech, Joe. Um, like I said, we do that. We have a whole lab here in-house where we can set up um, everything from the PBX to the phones, paging guides, what have you. Anything you need done, we can do it for you. Uh, Resale Advantage, you know, um, just some kind of touching points on uh, our CloudSpan marketplace. Um, we are uh, owned by Sangoma, who also recently purchased Digium. So that's a huge advantage when partnering with VoIP Supply. I mean, we're pretty much, you know, a, a, an asterisk super giant uh, where you can leverage um, both the capabilities of us as well as the capabilities of both Sangoma um, and Digium alongside the other uh, value partners that we deal with when it comes to VoIP service. All right, and then there's me. Uh, I'm the guy talking right now. Uh, if you um, aren't a reseller with us already, uh, definitely feel free to reach out to me um, and we'll get you going. If you are currently a reseller with us, thanks so much uh, for your business and your partnership. And um, your uh, rep, um, if they're assigned to you, will uh, be reaching out to you just to thank you for contacting or for uh, participating in the webinar today. But without further ado, I will now hand it off to Tim Sheehan with Polly, and he'll take you through some of the cool stuff uh, that's going uh, going on with their company right now. Right, John. Thanks for the lead-in. By the way, that's a really handsome picture of you there in the office. I really, I really do <laughs> like that. That's a, it's a great shot of you. <laughs> hey, uh, hi. Hi, everyone. This is Tim Sheehan. I'm the um, regional sales manager for our ITSP distributors, which is a, which, uh, and, and support VoIP Supply. Um, we're extremely happy to uh, be working. Uh, we want to thank VoIP Supply today uh, for allowing us to put together this webinar uh, for you. And then at the same time, uh, uh, just want to say uh, we're extremely happy to be partnering again with VoIP Supply. We, uh, we've uh, just had a new program instituted here um uh, at uh, poly and i have to I have to hold on to myself when i say poly because as of uh, yesterday we just changed our name and uh, i'll give you a little detail um just to let you know i have a little uh, about 17 years experience uh, here um at uh, 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 
at polycom slash plantronic slash poly. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy we've moved down with the name change, and I'm extremely happy actually that we uh, we went ahead and we merged uh, merged two two great business companies together uh, within the same industries who had the same uh, the same likes. So. To go through our agenda today, I'm going to, uh, uh, I've redone my presentation as of yesterday because yesterday we just announced our new branding and our new name uh, and along with our new logo. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, on the next slide. But uh, we're going to talk about the new poly and what that means to you. Uh, we're going to talk about why, why would the Plantronics and Polycom kind of merge together. And then we're going to talk about uh, what we referred to in the past as OB Talk and then Polycom PDMS as a service. We're now uh, referring to it as Poly PDMS as a service um, in this particular case. And then I'm gonna close out at the end with a little bit about our partnership and promos and benefits to you uh, and working closely with Voip Supply, Voip Supply as, your, as, your, uh, uh, as your distribution partner. So a little bit about our background. Uh, if, if those of you who are not familiar with um, who we are and what we did, both of us, if you think about Polycom and Plantronics, walk the same path together, both providing high quality audio and video conferencing and superb audio and high quality uh, with, with headsets. We, uh, the advantage of us both merging together is that we've been able to kind of solidify and revolutionize the industry from the standpoint of, if you think about it, we have products now that go, can start your day whether it's exercising with our wireless handsets, our headsets, um, uh, either at the gym or in your home exercise room, on up to your kids at, at night playing, um, uh, playing with uh, video games and using our, um, uh, essentially our consumer-based headsets on their video games along those lines. So all through the day, utilizing Polycom devices, whether it's, uh, whether it's our phones, whether it's our video conferencing, whether it's uh, our Polycom headsets, or uh, plant, excuse me, Plantronics Poly headsets tied together at once. But our history and our background is rather interesting when you think about it. We went to the moon um, at, at, uh, at Plantronics. We went to the moon with NASA. Um, they depended upon our headsets to, uh, to safely and, and uh, powerfully communicate with the astronauts. Uh, as they landed on the moon, and of course, through all the uh, through the NASA programs and the Gemini programs, and uh, even and even currently today, um, roughly between both companies, we're about uh, we're a little over two billion dollars in annual revenue. Uh, our employee count uh, right now, as it sits today, is a little less than less than eighty five hundred uh, uh, employees around the world. We're both globally ranked in the Fortune one hundred and five hundred. Um, we're a very big leader in the contact center business with business communications, whether it's Microsoft Skype for business, Microsoft Teams, uh, also uh, uh, Google Voice for G Suite uh, as well, we're uh, actively involved there. And then on the Polycom side, what was brought to the table is obviously that our, our iconic Starfish speakerphone that even today, if you were at night watching a TV show, chances are if there's a conference room shot, it's got our conference phone, uh, it's got our conference phone on the table. Um, Again, our push, our push forward is always going to be is to deliver high quality, uh, high quality products uh, delivered at competitive pricing uh, across the board. So, Polycom was acquired by um, uh, Plantronics in July of uh, 2018. In January 2018, we acquired a company which you may be familiar with, which is called Obi High. And we're going to talk. And today's presentation is really going to be, as we delve down in, we'll be talking about the. The, the products that we, um, and the services that we acquired uh, via OBI. So, how long have we been around? Combined 86 years of business. Again, we've delivered, we've delivered communication from, from uh, daily communications from the White House on down to the NFL draft and down to your personal workspace as well too. So still working uh, together as a team across the board with all products. An idea just to let you know that our engineering teams currently today are optimizing both our headsets and our uh, and our uh, uh, voice products to work more closely together to share the same stack to share the same communications feature features that are that are tweaking. If anybody's familiar with our Vox box, which I'm actually talking on today, it actually was we had OEM that the Plantronics called the Calypso 7400 product. 
that is actually going to be uh, the product we're moving forward with, and the Vox Box will stay away. But don't worry, if you have a current Vox Box that you're currently using, we'll keep it current and updated with software on a regular basis, so it'll work for you easily. So really, why Plantronics and, and Polycom uh, together? And one of the things that um, our, our top 15 providers have told us through outside sourcing, and we went through, uh, we spent some money to source um, uh, through a third party, uh, through uh, surveys to understand a little bit more about how we're, be why are we being picked? And again, we have 75% market share within the top 15 US ITSPs out there, which can be everybody from the 8x8s, 8x8s, the Vonages, the AT&Ts, uh, the Verizons of the world. We're roughly uh, selling close to 180,000 uh, phones per quarter within those providers. So that makes the business that much, that much more important to even smaller partners. Um, our top 15 uh, partners are growing roughly at about 25% 20, uh, annually, which gives, just goes to show you how much more room there is to grow in this marketplace currently today. And so this is basically a, uh, a, a you know, a, this is basically a question as to, as, to, as to why we're here and what we're doing uh, uh, and, and so successful at it. So essentially, why do we have 75% market share across the board? Um, and the reason why is simply is that our vision is to make our products simple and easy to use. Um, whether it's for the larger enterprise or the small SMB place, we, we, we work clo very closely with open standards. And we'll show that. We'll talk a little bit about that across the board. And we have a complete UCS story from, as I said before, from the small, uh, from the headset, headset portfolio, desktop phones, conferencing, uh, conferencing, as well as also video. Our quality, our RMA return is less than, uh, is still uh, extremely low. Uh, we all, our audio has always been crystal clear and always been clean. We, get, we drive to give higher video standards across the board. And our design aesthetics are, new, are, are all new now. If you're familiar with this, this particular speakerphone shown on this page, it's actually an 8800, which is our newer, stealthish, sleeker, black design, which you're going to see, which we're moving forward with with our new, um, you'll see in our newer model phones, the VVXX, um, VVXX, uh, what we refer to as the X50s series, which is the 150, 250, 350, and 450. And then now with the new PVX series, which right now are opt, uh, we just announced today at uh, Enterprise Connect, uh, currently optimized for Microsoft Teams, but moving with a SIP stack available in Q1 of, uh, by Q1 of next year. Um, our innovation has always been there, whether it's HD voice, acoustic clarity, uh, our acoustic clarity features, our automatic, you know, when I, when I look at HD voice and acoustic clarity and acoustic fence, I, I will refer to those as the secret sauce that really makes us go. It has the echo cancellation built into it. It has the white noise suppression. It has the ability to turn around and block and know when somebody's ruffling paper or a bag of pretzels or potato chips at a table. Um, and we have videos out there online showing all those demonstrated through YouTube, if you're ever interested. Each of our devices carries close to 9 million, uh, 9 million lines of code in our desktop devices, conferencing devices as well, too. Um, 27 years now of proven leadership and reliability. And again, our, uh, our open SIP stance is uh, second to none across the board. So one of the th things today we really wanted to uh, – emphasize and talk about is is a service called PDMSSP. And what does that really, what does it stand for? It's a really long term and we have a couple flavors of it. We have uh, uh, PDMSSP, which stands for Polycom Device Management uh, Service, which I think we're probably going to rename, I would think, as Poly Device Management uh, Service dash SP, which stands for Service Provider. We do have a um, another service out there called uh, PDMS SP-E, and that stands for Enterprise. That has to do with our Microsoft Teams and our video uh, management uh, along the, uh, uh, with those particular products. So today we're going to talk about the SP side, uh, SP side of how it applies to you today um, currently as an ITSP partner, okay? Um, what, what it is is we've, uh, we took literally the um, when we acquired OBI, OBI had uh, a product called OBTalk out there in the marketplace that um, 
it was very attractive to us. We spent quite a bit of time developing in-house uh, a platform that was going to work both on the enterprise as well as also on the uh, uh, on the service provider side for our voice partners. What we discovered is as we were going through this 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 and I will refer to it as an arduous process, is that there was somebody out there who had already had this made and we could get this out there to the market quickly. And that's why we, one of the reasons why we acquired Obihi, besides of their ATAs and gateways, as well as also their, uh, their, uh, their telephone sets uh, as well too. So uh, we acquired, we acquired Obihi and then turned around at the, at the same point uh, we acquired them. We then turned around and looked to develop uh, develop the uh, uh, the PDMS uh, SP offering and integrate it into our UCS and OBI talk and OB talk platforms. So what I like about this slide, besides the wonderful colors that it has in it, there's two key points here that uh, you as as uh, as service providers probably ask yourself every day, or if not a service provider, maybe a manager of a uh, of a larger enterprise would ask yourself today. You know, what are your biggest? If you're a service provider, what are your biggest technical challenges? Okay, probably in a service issue for for a partner, one of them you're going to ask when surveyed. These are the results that we got through GatePoint, which is lack of land visibility, very high percentage, remote troubleshooting was a, was always a difficulty as well too, trying to go through. Uh, going across the uh, uh, going across the uh, the wand of the land, too many truck rolls as a result of that remote troubleshooting uh, issues, and then able to pull network metrics across the across the across an entire enterprise, and that's key critical. Uh, that that's one of the great tools about PDMS that we allow you to do. And another thing, even if you were drop shipping out a device to a customer after uh, after you provisioning it yourself, or even sometimes. Um, uh, using another provisioning service offering, uh, insufficient installations. And again, that, you know, again, what does that show? Again, it, it shows a poor service quality, your customer, even as a, as you're first starting to turn them up, <clears throat> excuse me. So how does this affect your business? Okay. Basically, if, if you've got lack of visibility, you've got a longer resolution time in solving the customer's problem. If you can't see down to the phone, and have the ability to pull a, a PCAP or be able to pull other statistics off those devices. Um, you're, you're, it's a long, uh, it's a much longer resolution process. If you have, um, and essentially on your side of the business, it affects your operational cost. If you have to roll a truck uh, out to a customer location, and I had asked a, a, at, a, at a customer visit, a, an ITSP was, uh, was out, uh, out of this one particular business partner I was calling on, and I asked him, what do you think it costs for a truck roll? He couldn't give me a straight answer, so I walked him through a scenario to get the truck out the door, okay? So if you take a call and you're on the phone with the customer for, let's say, one hour, how much is that costing you for, for that particular engineer uh, for, for that particular hour. Then I, then I turned around and equated it also to how do you, how do you put that into the perspective with the cost of the truck roll itself out? And it came out to be for that one particular problem, for that one particular phone, it could be as high as 250 to $300 per call. That's a little, that's extremely expensive when you're talking about devices that can be anywhere from starting at a price point of, you know, $50 on up. Um, you know, it's just not, it's just really not effective. And again, Taking all that time with, with a longer resolution time, your support call volume is taken away from your desk. And then, unfortunately, with some of these unresolved issues or this length of time to get uh, get things taken care of, it can, it can cause as high, high percentages of 13% churn across the board. And that's just not acceptable for a lot of, company, for a lot of companies currently out there today. So what if we could hey, remotely hey, Tim, access real your- quick. Thanks. Um, I actually had a, uh, one of our, uh, Dan um, wrote in, uh, I find most soft switches are behind on Polycom device provisioning. What system can give the best feature programming to end user Polycom devices? For example, complete control of soft keys and EF keys. Okay, so from a provisioning, if they're talking about a provisioning, the provisioning itself, are they thinking about provisioning of the device itself? Or is it, um, because what you can do is depending on, on your access to the device and the, the ability to turn around if, uh, uh, how you're initially provisioning it or you're, you're using it for, uh, if you're tying or you're registered to zero touch provisioning uh, for it. Um, that, that's the best, that's probably the best result. But if you're, uh, as, we, as we go through here, we'll talk about, uh, for example, soft, minimum software requirements 
for, for the device itself, which is really 5.9 currently today to work with all of our X50s, including the expansion module. In some cases where you may not have an expansion module or software, um, the software, uh, software could be at 5.8. But if you're using your devices with an expansion module on the 450 in particular, uh, 5.9. Um, I'm not sure if I totally answered that question. Probably not. But what I could do is put it on the side and I can get, um, I can follow back up with one of our engineers uh, with that customer Perfect. directly on that. Okay. That'd be great. Um, so back on point, back on point here. So if you can remotely access your deployed devices um, uh, as if it resides in your own local, as if it resides in your own network, notify you when a, get an error or alert if a phone is down before the customer complains. Okay, and evaluate your overall metrics using uh, insights of the uh, insights of your voice service. And again, understanding that that, that our process here is actually um, uh, it's actually done in conjunction with. Uh, in conjunction as supplemental to your cloud uh, to the uh, existing existing provisioning or cloud application as it sits today so we have Prolicom device we can centrally manage and uh, our pdms can centrally manage and troubleshoot your uh, voice devices from from within the cloud itself so you remotely access the devices as if it resides there you can access device tools such as pcap and logging and live call stats device status and connected devices plus more. You can evaluate your overall metrics and usage and insights of your voice service itself. And that can be done on a global basis, depending on your, uh, depending on your customer, on how your customer is set up within the enterprise itself. And then obviously zero touch provisioning on the OBI edition uh, models. And then we're working on that to develop fairly quickly here uh, to, uh, to update on the UCS models across the board as well too. And, in addition, when we're showing our devices here, not only are we talking about our phones uh, themselves, but we're also talking about the, uh, of the your OBI devices, whether it's uh, whether it's our uh, 504, 508 gateways, or it's actually uh, within the uh, the ATAs itself. And again, with those OBI ATAs, um, you're able to turn around and consistently get in large scale medical facilities where they require a 50 page fax or more to go through, we're able to deliver that on the, uh, on the, within the, within our uh, ATAs currently today. So again, uh, some of the features that you would get and statistics that could be pulled are uh, status attributes. You want to run your running perimeter values, uh, packet captures and system logs and pa packet captures and system logs. You would turn around and, and, uh, and uh, grab the pack, grab those error pack and grab those error packets while on a live call with the customer, and then at the same time uh, capture them and go ahead and and uh, and bring them uh, bring them in uh, bring them up to Wireshark to do turnaround and testing and analysis. And again, this comes in extremely handy if you have to go as far as reporting and opening a trouble ticket with Polycom. We are, we're able to take those uh, those detects and and uh, uh, all that information and, um, and and bring that into the trouble ticket as well. Analytics and remote testing uh, of the devices. And again, through the management also is provisioning and firmware upgrades on the OB high side currently today that you can push down uh, uh, reboots and resets. And again, any bootstrapping as well too that needs to be done uh, across the board. So when we talk about where does, uh, where does uh, PDMS fit in the overall ecosystem, we currently support and have tested today on Metaswitch and Ribbon, which is GenBand, uh, which is uh, obviously GenBand. Broadworks, we're working with BroadCloud currently right now uh, to get that put through. NetSapiens, 2400 Hertz, uh, FreeSwitch and Asterix, and also additional call platforms that are currently out there today. So again, it's done through an in-band call control and management uh, platform, uh, in-band and call and management capability as well. And again, the intention of this is that we could go into uh, when you when your customer calls in to report a trouble ticket on a particular phone or device, they would turn around and obviously give you the phone number, which can be listed next to the MAC ID of the device itself within PDMS SP. You can then turn around and go to that particular device and then begin to turn around and pull those statistics, take a look at the MOS scores. Um, you can also set those devices up that if they're having an intermittent problem, that it can be set up for an alert. So you would come back and take a look. If, it, if, it, if there was an issue, 
you would have an alert notification that could be sent in and for you guys to pull for you guys to pull it down as well too. Within the PDMS management cloud, uh, again, understanding that this is really uh, it's a supplemental or a uh, when we say supplemental tether rather than overtaking your existing cloud management system, it actually would run in parallel with that down uh, for the device level itself too. So the one great thing is is obviously when you're uh, provisioning these devices, let's say through VoIP supply using their provisioning service, as you would uh, being signed up and being set up for PDMS, you can actually um, have these permissions set in that config file for the on the provisioning side, the provisioning in it, VoIP supply, before as it ships out to the customer, as it ships out to the customer itself. So if you know the customer, if you know what's coming in, it's it's plugged into the customer, it's going back to find your server for register, uh, it's going back to find your server for registration. You then have the ability to turn around and also bring up PDMS and take a look, take a look at the devices there as uh, as well too. So again, the intention behind this is obviously is to uh, you're you're fetching and running statuses. You're going to make configurations change. You can push firmware updates on the fly. Um, and it can be done via the, the REST API or the web portal itself as it's set up. And there's another slide here to talk about that. And again, the idea behind this is to remotely troubleshoot this as if it's within your own network of your own company and being able to use that through that, through that REST API across the board, okay? Supported devices today. So if we look at a standard connection for PDMS using just let's say a public public inter interconnect without having a web access, this is the scenario that you would probably this is the scenario you would look at here. We currently have pictured here Broadcloud and Broadworks, but it actually it, it's all of the other partners that are there too. Whether it's Ribbon, uh, whether uh, whether it's Ribbon, whether it's um, Asterix, uh, um, uh, and eventually we're going to work on getting Sangoma set up here as well too as part of that uh, as part of that certification process. So from the support within the DS, the service provider data center, there's a couple different, there's, a, there's another scenario on how to turn around and access, uh, access this as well too, and uh, across the board. So this is an idea behind this. Um, just to remind everybody, this is a full overview, just an overview at 30,000 feet of what this truly has to offer. When it comes down to understanding the bits and bytes, how to program and provision, We'll be able to set up. We can actually set up individual uh, individual sessions with my uh, solution architects to run through how that would appear and how that would be able to be set up. Um, how that would be able to be set up on your network uh, there across the board. So essentially, how to access this is you would access this through Polycom under uh, the OBI uh, the OBI talk, uh, dot com to register for the service itself. You would need to email your uh, your rep at VoIP Supply, uh, your account executive, um, and you would to request access to uh, the PDMS SP um, uh, platform. In turn, that rep would reach out to me, and we would set. Then we would look to set this up, uh, and then we'll come back to you looking for, uh, come back to you with uh, um, logon information and uh, how you guys would go to get set up and then we would from there we would once your guys set up and have acknowledgement that you have access to the portal we could then turn around and do a deeper dive into the features and functionalities of of again how to uh, how to provision and look at the uh, at the phone i will tell you this though that currently today we probably have close to half a million phones on the platform currently running already uh, we've had several large so we have, we have, in fact, one of the big things is that the first, once we first turned this up, we had some larger users surprise us over, over a weekend. Um, uh, we had roughly about 50,000 devices running on it. Uh, and when the engineers came in on Monday morning uh, and opened up, they, they found another 150,000 um, uh, phones on the platform. Scared the, I have to tell you, it did scare us a little bit because of the volume that was turned up suddenly at the same time. But the, the platform was able to handle it. We had to quickly turn around and add some more, uh, add act, uh, add some more, uh, add some more access to that as well too, uh, to just to, just to keep that up and up and running. Tim, a couple of questions so, that came in. Go ahead. Um, so Mark writes in. You mentioned Broadsoft Cloud. Is there availability for PDMS SP to interact with Broadsoft hosted uh, switch platforms? Um, yes. One question. Yes, on Broad. Yes, on Broadworks. Yes, we can work. We currently work today with Broadworks. We're in the process of trying to get certified with Broadcloud. 
if you're currently a broad cloud customer directly with Broadsoft, we ask you that if you would be so kind as to send um, engineering requests to Broadsoft uh, requesting on the broad cloud platform uh, access to uh, access to Polycom PDMS. We are we are still diligently working. We have a dedicated Broadsoft team. Um, um, Hank Lee is our lead SE, and Joe Bratton is our lead uh, primary contact uh, with Broadsoft after the acquisition by Cisco. So we still have these those deep relationships within the engineering groups and engineering teams. But um, Broadsoft has always worked under the assumption that um, that request is not real unless it's asked for by a customer. So um, that's always been we've always even before Cisco of the Cisco acquisition, they've always said, hey. The customer needs to keep, uh, request these features, but that's again, that's on the broad cloud side, not necessarily on the broad work side. But go ahead, John. Got it. Perfect. Now, second question um, is: Is uh, management and provisioning used in the same web interface? Um, zero touch provisioning on the OBI uh, on the OBI side is used in that, and on the OBI side is used in the same interface. Uh, the, are currently the Polycom. Legacy ZTP is not in the in the is not in the system itself. It is separate. Uh, it's run separately. And again, for uh, partner sales and partner resources, one of the things I suggest that um, one of the things I always suggest that people can do as a company, you can register as an ITSP. You can register as a Polycom partner on our website. You don't have to be certified anymore. Certification is. Uh, there's a move to take uh, voice certification totally away, but if you're currently buying through VoIP supply today, you don't have to be certified. But well, one of the advantages with registering as a partner on the Polycom, um, uh, registering as a partner, you can gain access to the Polycom partner portal. And what that allows you to do is there is a plethora, and I mean a plethora, of resource information on not only devices uh, or Polycom devices as service for service providers, but also about uh, existing software. And you can turn around and set up notifications um, in, um, uh, in the Polycom portal to be notified of, of price changes uh, through, our, uh, through our price lists, our list pricing, or it can also be notified through ch for changes on software upgrades, or uh, you get product announcements as they, as they come out. There's also some engineering, and, and again, this can also be set up. There's a, a, a plethora of engineering resources there as well as sales, sales literature. One of the things I always say to ITSPs, even though you don't have to now, you don't have to register and certify, the, if you're bringing on onboarding salespeople who are new to the industry and they want to understand, you want them to understand um, with hands-on training, we offer through sales we offer through sales training under the certification side at polycom totally free and by the way pds pdmssp is totally free from polycom as well too we're not charging for it but on the polycom website for is a great way to become trained on polycom products all of the training online is free we don't charge for it it's a great way for your people to become really familiar with our devices and our phones including whether it's our X50s, our currently VVX Gen 2 products, which are the, uh, the, the 301, uh, 301s through the 601 series, um, and also our uh, conference phones and even our Microsoft product, if you have an interest in that as well, too. So it's a great training tool, and it's free for you to use out there. Um, there are some people who really enjoy that and go after that stuff, but I always, I always mention that out to people because – it's free. It's free to use, and it's a great way to understand. Uh, and it's a great way to understand our products and our offering across the board. So, another great way, another great way to understand some of our products out there is that we're all over. We're all over. We're all over YouTube. Okay. And what I mean by that being all over you, being all over YouTube, is that we have a number of videos out there. Uh, a great way. A great video demo is Acoustic Fence. Uh, done by Darren Knapp, who's pictured here. He's my manager. Uh, Darren, Darren was probably the king, is probably the king. I, I refer to him as the Polycom king of, of, of videos. He's put a number of them out there. He also has a demonstration of PDMS out there as well, too, which is an easy way to turn around and, and understand uh, and understand for uh, to understand the product a little bit more in depth. Um, 
besides another uh, other in-depth training that we're offering. And then also uh, he's a great video of acoustic fence. We have a, a great acoustic demonstrations of all of our speaker phones and all of uh, the Vox box or now the uh, Callisto, for, well, Callisto 7400. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have, a, we have a whole, there's a plethora of information out there uh, that's available to you uh, today for free. Now, I'd be lack, and if I didn't show you some of the advantages of, poly, of Polycom with a Polycom partnership that's through VoIP Supply and some of the promos that we have out there currently running today. So, obviously, our partnership benefits is that you have a dedicated ITSP sales rep, which is part of the inside team at Polycom, or also myself, uh, a solution architect, which is our engineering folks, Access to pr preferred deal and demo pricing, which you can get through the folks at VoIP Supply. At VoIP Supply. Promotions and incentives. Um, we also have some programs regarding DAS as a service or uh, some of our OPEX rental programs, which we can talk about, at a which also would love to follow up with you on. Um, and then uh, access to uh, marketing funds through VoIP, uh, VoIP Supply. And then a partner training via our website or even in person um, and then access to NDA roadmaps and uh, some of our world-class experience centers. If you've not, some, some folks on the call may have been able to take advantage of vi visiting our New York City EEC during some, uh, for customer presentations as well too. We're on the 48th floor of One Penn Plaza, so you have a great view of, of, uh, uh, so, of Midtown and, Southern Man uh, and then Southern Manhattan. Um, <clears throat> we also have some training centers in Austin, Texas. Uh, we also have uh, uh, facilities in Santa Clara and San Jose, California for, for uh, world-class experience centers. If you happen to be out there visiting in those areas and would like to get access to that, work through, uh, work through your VoIP supply rep uh, and they'll reach out to me and I'll see if we can get you access for a walkthrough uh, or just a site visit day. And even if you're in New York City or know you're going to be in New York City on business and would like to Use the center for uh, just a, a set down a, a sit down area to do emails or to do a, a conference call or a call with a couple a, a call to a customer. Or so let us know. Give me a little advance notice uh, uh, through VoIP Supply or uh, or me directly, and I could look to set that up uh, set that up for you to drop in, uh, be able to drop in the center uh, there in New York. So there's an there's some advantages there. Again, uh, our uh, what we've done here is we've actually created a uh, closing a, a, we have a gray market program that's currently in place where uh, you can turn around and we have an unauthorized dealer list that if you're competing against someone and you want to get some, and you want to get, uh, you want to get information on, or if you know of somebody who actually is truly selling gray market and you keep running up against them um, and you would like them added to the list, please, uh, please feel free to email me. Um, or uh, email uh, John or your VoIP supply rep, and we'll work through. Uh, work through, and we'd love to take a look at that. We have really seriously gone after the grain market. Um, to give you an idea of what we've done, we've actually shut down some um, distributors in um, EMEA, as well as also in um, uh, Asia Pack who are uh, abusers. Uh, we've even um, there's been some uh, headcount changes at Polycom because of that as well too. Uh, but we are looking to continue to combat that and keep fighting against it uh, across the board. We know there's some product out there, but at the same time, it's, it's to your advantage to buy from an authorized partner. Um, and what I mean by that is that it, the gray, some of the gray market product out there may not be either uh, uh, considered, uh, uh, when I say gray, it could be uh, actually used products sold as new. Um, most of our, all of our uh, people who do sell uh, have a resell program, including VoIP Supply, know that when they're talking to a customer, they're selling that product as used equipment um, and not as brand new equipment. So that is always to be emphasized. You always take that risk with a gray markets pr uh, provider or by buying online that it could be, that it could possibly be a used product. We've had people get speaker phones literally in pizza boxes um that have they were just shocked but again they took the risk they bought it online and and that's what i hate to say that but that's what you get with with doing that so i always say buy through buy through a voip supply as an authorized partner um 
currently our promotions that we're currently running, and they seem to be continuing as well too. We have a uh, a customer uh, we have a customer rebate program, uh, a buyback program. VoIP Supply, I'll, I'll mention the buyback program here, but VoIP Supply also has a very competitive buyback program, which I think you should take uh, 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 take advantage of. And quite honestly, um, uh, we also talk, we also have a, a eternal use and demo program that you can take advantage in big deal discounts. So our rebate programs, we call it the first half of uh, the first half of uh, uh, 2019, our Polycom phone rebate programs. We've actually increased our rebate dollars um, on the 411s uh, and on, uh, also on the newer versions of buying a 450 or the, the newer phone. So as you buy, I, I like to tell people how to factor this and, and consider this in a, in, a, in a deal that you're working for a customer when quoting Polycom product. And that is you take, the, um, you take that rebate program and factor it in to the final cost of the deal. So this is a check that's paid directly through uh, to a uh, to the customer itself, so it comes from Polycom. Uh, it's based again on a minimum of five phones to 200 phones. So, for an example, if you have a customer that's going to take 100 phones or 50 phones in their first order on a very large deployment, and then it's going to do another 50 phones later in the year or 50 phones as as they go, the rebate program still runs. You can still use that program over. The term over the term of the uh, of the implementation of the product, it, the program itself may change. The dollar amounts may change, but I'm saying there's a rebate program that will probably be extended, can be extended out. So um, again, we're looking at replacing any working uh, any working business class phone that's out there today. So what we you know there's a, a the we have the rebate paperwork. VoIP Supply has that rebate paperwork available to you. So if they're doing a Polycom quote, they should be attaching that rebate form. To the uh, to those Polycom quotes, so your customers can take advantage of it. Okay, um, the VVX, the new models of phones are included. This current program expires on June 30th, but again, we expect that extended again um, in July, so that'll run the remainder of the year as well too. So again, offering across the board, these are the these are the discounts that we're offering uh, across the board. I am going to tell you this that the IP7000 speaker phone. Is uh, um, uh, we, we have not formally announced the end of life, but I'm going to tell you straight up, it is going to be end of life uh, very shortly within the next probably 15 days. We'll announce our end of life, so there'll be a 60-day buy period for those um, um, IP7000 speaker phones. If anybody remembers them, it's the it's the original speaker phone we came out with showing 14 kilohertz worth of audio. It was a great product at one time. Um, but it's, uh, we're just at the, really at the end of life. The chips so can't be mean, you can't find the chips anymore. Uh, it's reached its end of life. But if you have customers that are looking to trade out, trade out, uh, that'll be part of the trade rebate, uh, phone program going forward. Um, uh, probably in the second half of the second half of the year, that'll be added in there as well too. So. And again, a buyback program, we use it through network value. We have one through network value that we promote, but I want to I point you back to VoIP Supply for this. John, are you there? Can you talk a little bit about your buyback program uh, real quick here? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we, like I mentioned in the beginning, have both a refresh and a reclaim uh, program. So they kind of work hand in hand with each other. Um, so with reclaim, we would buy back your old phones. Um, and then either pay you um, via check for us, you know, buying them from you, and then obviously reselling them through refresh. But if we don't really have any resale value in them, we could at the very least take them off your hands and then, you know, just recycle them for you. So if you ever run into a situation where, you know, the customer might want to sell their phones back and then apply them to the purchase, we can do that. Or if they just want to kind of not have to worry about them. Uh, we can help out with that uh, as well. So again, looking at that buyback, looking at their buyback program and our rebate program as well too, the value there for you guys is 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 really twofold and can be bundled together in your price quotes. So you find out what the phones that they're, they're going to trade in or get rid of, find a value there, okay, and then turn around and figure out what the rebate program is for them buying new phones. And again, whether these phones are on a lease program 
or uh, we, we just have to, sh uh, on, a, on a lease or on a rental program that you guys may have internally, or even our DAS, our Devices as a Service program that Polycom offers, and in some cases, uh, 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 some of your, your companies are eligible to participate in. The, I would, I, I urge you to leverage whatever you can to turn around and help close your, close your deals, because you're doing something different uh, at that point in the time in the proposal process, more so than your, uh, more so than your competition is. And again, part of, uh, I will point back to the other slide that I had for uh, network value. Again, some of these other places will also buy, you know, if the guy says, Hey, I've got, I've got these older, uh, I've got these older Cisco, not even Cisco phones, but Cisco servers or whatever pot I refer to as whatever pots and pans he's got laying around in the closet. And he, he's trying to get a value for, um, we've, again, there's other partners out here who can turn around and help. If we can throw those dollars at the customer as one as a favor and show them, throw them some extra value, uh, that helps too, and that'll, that'll help too in closing the deal uh, across the board. Yeah, and just to kind of add on to that as well, um, you know, if, if some of you are familiar with web supply, I'm sure you're aware that we can kind of um, negotiate on pricing and stuff, but if you're not, you know, the price you see on our website isn't necessarily the most aggressive we can get. Um, so combined with the discounts we can get you up front with the rebates that you get on the back end, in addition to the money we're paying out, you know, if we're replacing phones, you know, the, the draw of ordering gray market stuff on Amazon doesn't become so great or even turns out that you're, you're going to lose money if you were to go through that avenue without uh, leveraging all the options that Polycom and Voice Supply have um, to win your business. Don, that's an excellent that's an excellent point on that too, and leveraging and saying, "Hey, look, gray market a gray market doesn't offer you this; it offers you a higher risk um, uh, with with product um, across the board." That's funny. We were talking about gray market before. Here, uh, I just got a quick anecdotal story. Here is um, when we started this program for the ITSP distributors, uh, and again to uh, uh, to shift a little bit away to shift away from the gray market to make everybody, I guess, make everybody more honest again. We, we uh, uh, there was someone who signed up as a partner, um, a small company signed up as a partner and immediately uh, got themselves certified and in good standing uh, with Polycom. And as soon as they were certified, uh, within 24 hours, they sent us a letter requesting pricing on 6,000 phones, um, 6,000 phones at 70% or 80% discount. And immediately, as soon as we saw that, we said, "Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me!" Here's a here's a here's a, here's a typical gray marketer trying to backdoor into the system who was cut out because of this new this new ITSP distributor program that we currently have in place today. So again, it's a it, we we've made a dent. We we know we're moving forward, and uh, we've got and we have some great. And again, having Voice Supply on as a great partner, we're extremely ecstatic and happy about. So that's really what I have in closing. And so what, what I say to you today is obviously if you're not, if, if leverage our program, lever, leverage our programs that are going to make you a better reseller and a better company overall. Um, and the sales side, leverage our promos and promo programs that we have out there, leverage the VoIP supply rebate programs um, on our existing devices. Also at the same time, please leverage the, um, uh, leverage PDMS and use it as a, as a tool to help your business run better. Uh, it's truly a value add that we offer across the board. Um, we do offer, uh, uh, what I didn't show you here, is we do offer also back for, uh, for test phones, uh, for one-time buys to be utilized within your own company as we offer a special, uh, a special discount uh, for that. Um, and that can be, and that's a pass through that VoIP supply can do uh, when ordering. So if you want to, if you're coming on board as a new partner and you're saying, Hey, I, I want to buy, I need, uh, uh, I want to get a full set of X50 phones to test in my lab um, uh, and, and utilize that way. And then after six months, I want to sell them off to a customer. We have a demo program that you can utilize those devices, uh, can acquire those devices and, and, and use that if you're looking for, for them. And again, also, if you're looking to refresh your office, uh, with our X50 phones as well, too. Um, uh, we're more than happy to uh, work out some price, uh, look at special pricing for that as well, too, across the board. So again, um, uh, I just want to say thank you for the time. Um, the one thing about the Polycom name, if, if I'm going to close with that, um, 
the wheel, the new logo, it looks like three P's together, which is poly, you know, people have said, is that, does that mean Plantronics, Polycom, uh, uh, and I'm now, now derived with the derivative word poly, which means in Greek, one to many. So uh, meaning that as one company, we supply to many aspects of, of your business environment and home environment, uh, which, uh, which, which I like that description a little bit better. But the other, uh, the other part of it is like, I look at that logo and I say to myself, does it remind me when I was in Ireland of uh, approaching a rotary on the left-hand side of the road? And I say to myself, okay, that's what that means. It looks like a rotary. I've been told it looks like an airplane propeller, which goes back to our original beginning at Plantronics as a company when we designed, when the initial designers and founders of the company wanted to make a better headset for pilots. And again, that goes back to NASA and, and, and onward and upward across the board. So, but I want to thank you again for your time. I appreciate, I appreciate it. Uh, you taking that time this afternoon to, uh, to join us. Cool. Thanks again, Tim. And actually we have, let's see, one, um, we got one more question that came in a little bit earlier, but I figured I'd uh, just kind of let you keep going. Um, Nathan wrote in, uh, I'm visiting my old Obitalk portal and see no way to add Polycom devices. What are the steps uh, to get to the portal that you had showed earlier? Okay, what I can do is, uh, let's take that on the side, Nathan, I'll work with you. We can work with you to get that done. If you wanna circle back with John, Jonathan after the call, I can look to get an, uh, an essay to call you this afternoon on that. Perfect, awesome. Uh, so that wraps it up with us. Tim, thanks again for your time. Uh, this is really entertaining, really, really informative. Um, once again, we got uh, OB300s, uh, ATAs that we'll be shipping out to everyone that attended the webinar today. Um, and then we got a couple prizes that uh, we'll be giving out. And uh, so check your emails both for us requesting um, the shipping address for the ATAs as well as the shipping address for the gift card and the headset if you are one of those two winners. So if you have any questions, like Tim said, shoot him an email, shoot me an email, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody. guys. Appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Yeah.